Hi, Dr. Laura Wakefield. I wanted to speak to the proposed policy. I think there are four main concerns with the policy. Um, the first one was reviewed with you already by Robin about the unattended language that needs to be evaluated and looked at. That is extreme concern. The other problem is in when it says um, at the very top of the policy, the addition of parents, guardians who consent to their child receiving services by facilities not located on district premises also consent to the use of the facilities, seclusion, isolation, and restraint policy. I don't think you can force a parent to have automatic consent within a CPS school board policy about another facility's policies. Parents need to consent with that facility, so you need to look at that because I do not think you can do that. Um, problem three is huge. Um, you are proposing to change. You're going to remove the annual training requirement for seclusion and restraint and replace it with all district personnel are informed. And you were just bragging on how you're the only district that trains every year, and now you're going to remove that. That You need more training, not less. That is a very significant concern. The fourth problem is the notice to parents. Five calendar days is the standard across the nation for this type of thing. It is Modesi's recommendation. These families need this information quickly. We do appreciate that you finally added that. That has been in Modesi's policy since 2010 in their recommendations. And we are so thankful that there's finally some details in there. Parents are not able to get that information right now. It doesn't get to them automatically. They have to know to ask for it. And when they do go to ask for it, they're told, we can't give that to you. You have to talk to John White. They don't have John White's email. No one gives it to them. They don't know how to access that. So then they never get it. So there's a lot of transparency issues once again. So 10 days is not really going to be acceptable. It needs to be five days. These children have been injured. They need to get this information out to their doctors. They're having therapists and mental health issues. They need to get that information there. And also another huge piece that is overlooked in procedure of this, after they've been restrained or secluded and they come back, or they've been suspended or whatever after these things too usually, and they come back, they need to have that restorative conference to talk about what happened and what are we gonna do to make sure this never happens again that never happens with these kids. That is not occurring. It is a huge concern. You need to sit down with your special education administrators and ask them what is going on here because these things are a significant problem and parents are sick of it. Thank you.